Hey good morning everyone my name is Vipin Kumar and in this video I will explain Azure hybrid network let's understand how does virtual network work in Azure this diagram taken from Microsoft site you can understand this diagram as a data center in a region for example this is a data center in east US region in this data center we have physical network and physical server Microsoft Azure use a customized Hyper-V for the virtualization and we have couple of the VMs on physical server these VMs are connected with VNet A and VNet B through the virtual switches you can understand VNet has a namespace and they are isolated from another VNet Let me draw a complete flow about a VNet. Under the VNet, we have virtual switches. Multiple VMs are connected to VNet via virtual switches. So basically, virtual switches connect virtual machine to virtual network it also use virtual network bridge and rules to forward the traffic between the VMs each virtual network has its own IP forwarding table or routing table it also has network interface it also has a network policies let's come back to our diagram so virtual switches will control or manage the traffic between the network or host virtual switches are controlled by the SDN software defined control it control or manage the policies policies for the virtual network for example if vm1 wants to talk with vm2 vm will send the packet or traffic to the virtual switches virtual switches will check the policy to sdn sdn will inform to virtual switches that VM2 hosted on a different virtual network hence they cannot talk with each other for example V1 now wants to talk with VM3 virtual switch will check the policy with SDN SDN will inform that VM1 can talk with VM3 because both the VM machine are located same virtual network so this is the basic diagram how does azure virtual network work now let's try to understand how does network flow between outside to inside again this diagram also taken from microsoft site requests are coming from internet to Azure data center the Azure data center network appliance accept the request network appliance can be router switches firewall once firewall check the request type allow then router will send request to virtual network then virtual network 
routing table will send the request to subnet energy on subnet level will check the request type if the requests are allowed then routing table will send the request to web server if web server needs to talk with app server then web server will send request back to backend subnet and backend subnet will check with energy if the requests are allowed from the web server then routing table will send the request to the app server app server will send back to the request to the web server then web server will send back to request virtual appliance and virtual appliance will send back request to customer browser this is a high level diagram how does traffic flow inside the azure network in this diagram web server app server are hosted on azure traffic is coming from internet to azure network appliance if the web server wants to talk with app server it can talk now suppose that your database server is located on on premises data center here on a different network if now web server wants to talk with database server it cannot be talked by default because both the networks are different network can be a on premises or any other azure site or any third party site to establish a connection between two network we require a bridge azure vpn gateway act as a bridge between azure network and on premises network azure vpn gateway has a local routable ip range here virtual network will transit the traffic from the web server to on premises network by using routing table in this example we are using the express route to set up a connection between on premises and azure we are using here express route gateway circuit and express route circuit connected to physical router on service or exchange provider over the private network the communication between service provider to express route is happening in private network not public network we will discuss about express route how does it work further in this video once a connection established then communication is traveling between service provider to corporate network this communication also going through private network so traffic between corporate network to azure it's happening in private network the traffic is not moving over the internet or public network once the connection is established between two network now the web server can talk any devices on on premises network and any device from on premises network can communicate any devices on azure let's try to understand why do we require a hybrid connection you have active directory domain controller on on premises network and 
you are using Azure Active Directory on Azure Network, you want to sync username and password from on premises to here. You require a hybrid connection to establish a seamless sync between on premises to Azure AD network. Similar way, on premises, you are running SCCM and you want to manage VMs on Azure network, then you require a hybrid connection. Now suppose that you are running your web server or Azure app services on Azure network, but your database is still running on on premises. Now web server required a connection to write and read data on database server. These are few example why do we require hybrid connection. You can think about one more example. You are running your load balancer like application gateway, traffic manager or any kind of the load balancer on Azure. But you want to set up backend at on premises environment like any VM, then you require a hybrid connection to establish or set up load balancer over the devices on on premises network. Now let's try to understand what all the options available to set up a hybrid connection. Again, a excellent diagram available on Microsoft site that explain what all the options available to connect for hybrid connection. First one is internet connectivity. This is the simplest way to connect devices on Azure network. For example, you launch a VM on Azure with a public IP address, you connect this VM by using public IP address or DNS you can connect this device from anywhere second one is point to site VPN connectivity in this approach we are going to use virtual private network or virtual private network gateway this is more suitable for the developers who want to set up a POCs, a small scale development and it can be connect from anywhere. Again, your traffic will travel over public internet. Next one is side to side VPN connectivity. It is more suitable for the enterprises solution. You can connect any Azure compute resources in this connectivity traffic will also travel over public internet and last one is express route it establishes a private connectivity between azure and on premises it is more suitable for the enterprise solution mission critical workload where latency is more concerned it is more suitable for dr or backup before going to each connectivity option, let's try to understand how does Azure data center are connected with each other in a region. For example, you have four data center in East US region, one data center in New York, another data center in DC, third one is NJ and last one is Chicago. These data center are connected with physical cables on each data center. These are cables
these cables are installed and configured on each data center physically to establish a communication between all the site or data center. So traffic is not traveling over the internet. Traffic latency is zero. All the connections are established in private network and you are getting a faster optimized speed for data. Many company branches or office within the region have similar type of the network to connect each other site. But this solution is very costly to implement and maintain also time consuming. So instead of having the physical cable connectivity between the site, you can use a VPN technology. Let's understand what is the VPN technology. With the help of the VPN software or device, we connected multiple sites by set up a VPN connection over the internet. VPN device is installed and configured on each site. VPN device or software create a secure tunnel between the site for the communication over the internet. All the connections are getting travel in encrypted way. In this way, you don't require a high cost physical cable connectivity between the site. You require a VPN device or software and you require a high speed internet for data transmission between all the sites. Nowadays, most of the companies using the VPN option to connect their office branches or their site with other branches offices. So let's start to look at the connectivity option for the hybrid connection. First one is point to site VPN connectivity. So again this diagram taken from Microsoft. This diagram explain point to site VPN connectivity for Azure hybrid network. In this point to site VPN, you can set up a point to site VPN from a laptop, from a desktop or any other devices. You don't require a VPN gateway on your site. You can use any algorithm to set up the VPN connection between from your computer to Azure network. Use a certificate or SSL based connectivity. When you set up a VPN connection for point to site, it creates a tunnel. This is a tunnel. to transmit a connection between from your network to Azure network. It use a SSTP secure socket tunnel protocol or IKE. The data will be encrypted and decrypted on both the side. So your data will be secure and your connection is going through over the internet. You are going to connect with a VPN gateway on Azure site and this VPN gateway will have a routable IP address. Once your network connect with the IP address of gateway, the connection will be established between your computer laptop to Azure cloud network. This is the one of the basic connectivity option for the Azure hybrid network. Second one is site to site VPN connectivity. In site to site VPN, the traffic will transmit over the secure private tunnel by using IPsec and IKE protocol. To set up a site to site VPN, both the sites we require a VPN gateway. On the Azure site, it is a virtual VPN and on the premises side it is a physical vpn device 
you required a public IP address on both the side to connect a side to side VPN on the Azure we are going to create a subnet gateway and providing a CIDR this is the IP range from which we are going to create a compute resource like VM we also required a local gateway for the routing in the local gateway we will provide the IP range of on-premises so any traffic from Azure to on-premises or on this IP range will route via VPN gateway to on-premises on premises side a VPN required a public IP address it can be a static or dynamic and you required a shared key you also required a VPN device configuration script once you complete all requirement and step a side to side VPN will connect both the side let's talk about the planning for the azure hybrid cloud in the step one we are going to determine the hybrid connection type either s2s vpn or express route we already look at side to side vpn you can connect 1 to 10 different site or vnet to a single azure vnet in express route a private and secure tunnel is going to establish or create via internet access provider or network service provider other connection type can be point to site VPN or VNet peering this is the overall hybrid connection diagram two different connection are going to establish via gateway this is the azure vpn gateway you can connect point to site vpn site to site vpn express route and vnet to vnet vpn to this gateway once a connection established from on premises by using any of connection type to the Azure VPN gateway then you can connect multiple VNet by using VNet pairing in the second step you need to identify a VPN device for the on-premises environment in the third step you need to add route on on-premises network so that traffic can move to VPN device and from the VPN device the traffic can move to Azure virtual network in the step number four you will plan for express route from on-premises network to Microsoft Azure network in the step number five you will configure the routing table to route the traffic from Azure virtual network to on-premises network on Azure network side you will have IP range of on-premises network so that the routing table from Azure network can forward the traffic to gateway and gateway will send the request to on-premises network in the step number six you will configure the DNS server so that any VM machine in on-premises network can resolve to Azure network DNS
you can set up a replication from on premises network to virtual network in step number 7 you can set up a force tunneling suppose that you have virtual machine on azure by default virtual machine can access the internet directly but you don't want to permit your virtual machine to access internet directly instead of that you want to send traffic from virtual machine to on premises router and through the router the internet should be accessed On the router side, you can set up the firewall and you can set a rules what kind of the traffic can travel from the Azure VM to internet, what they can access and what not. Along with, you can collect the logs for the auditing. For that, you need to set a default route for all outbound connection for the virtual machine to gateway it means that any connection initiated from virtual machine should be routed to the gateway and gateway will forward the traffic to vpn device and vpn device will forward request to router router will forward request to internet now let's talk about the express route this is the diagram for express route this is your company network and your company network is connected to express route partner or service provider and your network is going to connect with the service provider by vlan a physical cable so the traffic from your company network to service provider will be private and once you hand over your network to service provider or express route partner each location then traffic will transfer to Microsoft data center or Microsoft location by express route circuit it is a secure tunnel so all the traffic will travel private no internet going to be involved there is always primary connection and secondary connection the traffic between service provider and Microsoft Edge or data center is completely secure and private there is no internet between there are two types of the Microsoft peering. One is public peering and second is private peering. Suppose that if you want to access any Microsoft SaaS and PaaS services from on-premises network like Office 365 or any PaaS services router at on-premises will look at what kind of the traffic if the traffic for SAS or PAS then it will route the traffic to public pairing or Microsoft pairing if the traffic for private pairing like access a virtual machine or connectivity between VNet then router will forward the traffic to private pairing in both the conditions traffic will not be communicate over the internet all the traffic will communicate in the private and secure tunnel these are express route connectivity model one is co-located at cloud exchange if your data center is located in same 
building or facility with a cloud exchange then you can use same facility or building to connect the express route circuit next one is point to point ethernet if your data center is located on your premises or same building where is your office then you can use a point to point ethernet link to connect microsoft data center next one is any to any connection if your branch offices are connected with each other by using ip vpn or when from a provider who also provide a express route service then you can use service from same provider to connect azure data center you can get a latest list of express route location for example in north america these are azure region and express route is available on these cities or location like new york chicago la like this these are service provider who provide a service for express route at&t provide a express route service on these location refer the azure documentation to get up to date information so i try to cover as much as i can for the azure hybrid connection that's all in this video thanks for watching have a good day bye